Welcome to the show, uh, Small Talk, that is. So my guest is um, originally from the Czech Republic. He is a music instructor. And for those who know, know the place, he was the one time the manager at Hector Grease Cafe. Time to welcome Jacob Kwidzinski. Kwidzinski. <laughs> Hello, everyone. <laughs> okay, I was almost, almost got it. I did. Yeah, this, almost. I told you before we... I uh, started recording that I'd have it then, and then once I, once I start recording, then I lose it. So tell me about coming to Canada. How old were you? Uh, I was 17 years old, and uh, we came here with my parents and my brother, and then eventually our dog and my uh, half-brother followed as well a couple of years later. Did you come right to Chilliwack? Uh, yeah, we did. So why Chilliwack? Like, did your family know people here? Uh, no, we didn't know anybody in Chilliwack, but uh, me and my dad, we did a little uh, excursion, a trip three years before we were allowed to immigrate. Mm -hmm. So um, we visited a bunch of places and Chilliwack kind of felt like like the right place to be. Nice. Made some friends here and then I guess we, we knew those friends when came time to move here. Right. Yeah. Well, did you find it uh, much of a culture change? Yeah, definitely big culture change. So in um, what way? Uh, the <clears throat> infrastructure is totally different. All the houses were kind of cookie cutter houses here, whereas where I come from, uh, you're used to the old brick houses and everybody has a little different taste and different style. And um, the people were different, you know, much more friendly, less... Uh, the way we saw it was like they were less uh, influenced and scarred by the wars and the communism that used to be in Czechoslovakia and in the Central Europe. And um, yeah, just it was it was a big culture difference. Much wealthier country here, too. Right. Yeah. So now you would be starting high. You would be going into high school, right? I was. Yeah. So was it difficult to fit in with the kids or were they accepting? Were the young people? Accepting? No, they were accepting. Yeah, and I, I actually chose, uh, when I spoke to the counselor, talking about which classes would qualify me for passing certain grades uh, when we were transferring, I asked, since I had two more years left back in Czech in my schooling system before I could officially leave it, here she, she said I could go to grade 12 and just have one year. I, I told her I'd like to do two years instead so that I have more immersion and and that helped a lot too. Right. Now I know you teach music. Uh, were you doing that early on, like before you came to Canada? Or did no, you <clears throat> no. My mom was a music teacher since she graduated, so she was the influence from the family uh, for us to get inspired from, and uh, she kind of pushed her, uh, pushed us in that direction. Me and my brother. When I say we. <laughs> okay so we both uh, started teaching our own instruments which i'm a drummer and he's a guitarist so michael oh. does guitar lessons very nice so now you you have your own place like people come to you to to, to learn like you don't are, or do you work out of a specific place like say uh long and mcquade for instance i, I can't no <laughs> no i i thought about working with long mcquade but um it just worked out so well with our family studio Hmm. We have a place in our home that we can call a studio and and people just come to our home and we do lessons from out of home. Actually, my brother now, he's a full time teacher <clears throat> this year. He took on like 30 students and uh, wow. he does because of COVID and he lives out in, the, in an apartment. He drives out to people, people's places and okay. he goes to them. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So now speaking of COVID, of course, so has that affected you very much when it comes to your students? A little bit. Yeah. Um, I think it still does. It's a little bit better now. Um, but at first when it hit, uh, I think I went from 12 students to about four. And uh, I just did those four over Zoom. And there was a whole learning curve. And I, I just 
didn't enjoy it as much and I didn't think I could give the same value over Zoom for drums in particular. So I didn't continue over Zoom for much longer and then took a little break. And then eventually when people felt comfortable again to come over, then we continued in person. Right. Now, I've always heard that drummers are a special breed of people. Oh, yeah. Would you say that? Me too. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know if I fall into that breed, unfortunately. <laughs> I, I do know that drummers are a special breed and I know lots of them that are, um, you know, you can call them drummers, but I'm not so, I'm a drummer, but I'm not so knowledgeable about all of my gear. <clears throat> my dad was the, the one who always knew everything about right. all the instruments and uh, sometimes he'd ask me like, Oh, so what, what uh, you, ha you have the 12 inch Tom and a 10 inch Tom and then the, the 16 inch floor Tom. And I said, sure, <laughs> I actually don't know. <laughs> no, it's just interesting because my daughter's been learning to play the drums and, you know, she took it up later on in life in her thirties. Right. And I, yeah. and I love hearing somebody play the drums. I think it's a wonderful, wonderful instrument. Uh, now tell me about working at Tractor Grease Cafe. Yeah. You were the manager there. Uh, what do you want to know? Well, how did you get that job? Yeah, I got it. Uh, that would be five years ago. Uh, we just, you know, we were pretty fresh in Chilliwack still mm -hmm. um, looking for venues to to play music, to listen to music, because my whole family were musicians. And right. I uh, <clears throat> I was always in bands back in, in Czech. So oh. Okay. You were looking for places to do the same and make some connections. And Tractor Grease was actually on our radar way before we even got here. Um, it wasn't as a restaurant yet, right? like 10 years ago, but Jeff was already on the internet, had a website, he had the studio downtown. So we knew about Jeff and then uh, just came to visit for the open mic and started playing at the open mics, me and my brother, just a cajon and acoustic guitar. And uh, people started calling us the Czech brothers and, and then, uh, you know, built a little bit of a reputation. And then I just, uh, my parents uh, told me to go ask for a job because I needed a job and I wanted a cool job, but I <clears throat> didn't have the confidence to go up by myself. So then I, well, I went by myself. I just asked Jeff for a job and he said, yeah, come on in this weekend and nice. we'll give you a shot. Nice, yeah. Uh, so did you leave before it closed? Uh, no, I stay there till the end. Right, so it's hard for everybody. It must have been really hard for everybody. Yeah, yeah. So it, it's, it was such <clears throat> a, a fabulous atmosphere there. I really, I really like Tractor Peace Cafe. Mm -hmm. And, and it, I've known uh, Jeff for long. Definitely, when, once it's gone, it's... Uh, the big loss. Yeah, you start realizing all the the loss that has actually happened. So yeah, for sure. So uh, now, do you have another another job like that, or you're you're just working on uh, you know, um, teaching? At the moment, I am actually uh, I'm switching fields a little bit. Okay. I've been dabbling into. Um, I hope that's the right word. <laughs> Sometimes I say words that I believe mean something and they don't. <laughs> but we'll find out. <laughs> Dabbling works. Been, it's like when you're starting off or trying something. Yeah. So I've been trying uh, to, to change. You know, I've been in service industry for seven, eight years, actually. I started with other service, like serving jobs. And, right. and I wanted to go away from being in front of so many people, uh, especially because of what's happening as well just COVID and, mm -hmm. and all that um so I've been doing tr some trades and then uh lately I think I'm gonna stick with uh, working for this little company based out of uh, I guess Harrison it's uh blinds and awnings installations they're called Vista Shades um nice little company you know it's right in the the same idea as Tractor Grease was. It's it's a startup. It's it's not established big company yet, and there's lots of growth potential. and And I, I get to be personable with the customers, and I I enjoy uh, using my uh, drill and and tools and making doing some DIY projects around the house all the time. So 
Uh, right. So it's very satisfying for you to, to work with your hands, right? Yeah, I work with my hands. Which you do as a drummer anyway. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, it's in a just different con uh, context. That's all, right? Yeah. Well, good. Yeah. Uh, well, good luck with that. I hope that works out really well for you. Uh, so uh, now coming up, there's, um, you know, lots of opportunity for people to learn different <clears throat> instruments and, and especially the drums. So if somebody wanted to get classes, have classes, how would they get a hold of you? Yeah, they uh, so I we have a website. It's my last name, which is uh, I might have to spell it out. Are you? <laughs> well, I've got the spelling right. K V I C I N S K Y. So yeah, K V I C. You got me. K V I N. Oh my god. <laughs> K V I C I N S K Y. <laughs> Music dot com that's our website okay so i'll make sure that's included under your name so uh yeah uh, yeah um so i actually have been getting quite a bit of requests for drum lessons uh and i i kind of maxed out my schedule oh, with okay. the current job that i'm doing as well i i just i'm not ready at this moment to do full-time teaching right um have 30 students which is usually that's where you max out with your time slots that's a but lot of students about I can do about 10. 10 is where I set my limit. So somebody, you know, it's beginning of the year. So school year, I mean, so if somebody doesn't stick around, then I might have a time slot open up. But uh, yeah, definitely, definitely reach out and at least find out right. yeah, if you have the space or not, right? Yeah. But my mom, she does also piano lessons, keyboard lessons. She does all the brass instrument or most of the brass instruments, I think trumpet and French horn and all under the same website? Uh, yeah, it's all on the same website. Even my brother's guitar lessons are up there. But like I said, he's also close Max. to being Mac, though. Yeah, but that's perfect to have every, all the family. I mean, I think it's good to have a family business like that, right? Mm -hmm. Where you, anybody sends in the, the, the contacts you on the website, you can show what all the things that are, that are being taught, all the instruments that are being yeah. taught. So that's really good. Um, now, you said you were in some bands. Um, yeah, I used to be, <clears throat> I used to be in uh, one band in Czech. We just played cover songs, and then we eventually started uh, playing our own songs, and we were getting pretty successful in the in the area. We went to some contests, and it was fun. But then I had to end because we had to move. Right. Uh, and then I um, started playing with my brother. He has a project called Nax N A X X. Uh, till this day, he keeps working on on his project. That's uh, that's his his uh, his uh, heart. Like it comes from his heart. Okay. <clears throat> I play drums in in his band. Um, we didn't concert or play any gigs lately, so uh, so it's hard for me to just think that I'm in any band at the moment. So yeah, right. It's I, hard to get I don't have any it. band going on right now. Okay, right. Uh, do you sing at all? Or you just play the, the <laughs> Trying to get into it. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, I, I think guitar actually is my next. That's what I've been working on right? lately. So getting better at guitar and then with playing guitar comes singing. So hopefully I pick it up as well. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Um, if I'd like to take it back to uh, the Czech Republic for a little bit. Um, now, do, have you been back? Has the family been back since you moved to Canada? My parents have. I haven't. No. Do you have any desire to go? Uh, yeah, I'd say so. I I didn't have a desire to go for maybe five years. Okay. Yeah. Um, you know, you're still getting to know your new environment, so it's cool and everything. But now, after ten, almost ten years, um, yeah, I'd like to go back. I'd like to revisit some places, some friends, <laughs> see how they're doing. Yeah, I would think it'd be pretty awesome for them to see you come back. You, you know, you came from there, so you understand uh, the difference, right? But if, if they yeah. haven't been here or anywhere out of Czech, but Czech they, then they don't have that understanding that you have. So it'd be quite interesting, I think, for them to speak to you and your experiences, that things that you could share with them, right? Yeah, definitely. Well, that sounds really good. I, I, I wish you the best in everything. Um, yeah, I'm going to um, 
call it, you know, that'll be it. The interview is over. I can't think of any other questions unless there's something you want to share that I forgot to ask about. Is there anything? Uh, no, I think you, you That's kind it. of asked me about the main, uh, main things that are happening in my life right now. So. Okay, good, good. Okay, we'll just stay on camera for a bit, okay, for a second. Thank you for everybody for watching. I hope you interview, uh, enjoyed this interview with Jacob Kvitvinsky. Kvitvinsky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I almost got it. And uh, thanks for watching this show. And if you watch on YouTube, please subscribe. Take care and peace out, everyone. A sense of community to the wax a place to be. A sense of community where you're free. Rolling through the mountains, rolling through the valley, rolling through paradise with me. It's multicultural, you're sure to see it all. Chilliwack's the place to be, you'll see. Come party in the park, go dancing after dark. Chilliwack's the place to be, you'll see.